you become an example for these kids out here who think, uh, you know, being a baby mama is enough or just clout chasing, being like with a rapper and being treated like, you know, shit is worth it. You need to respect yourself. You need to respect your partner. You need to have a mutual loving relationship. It shouldn't be one-sided or you shouldn't be crying all the time. You shouldn't be chasing for money. It's about love and it's about real genuine connection and respect. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. I am Wingir Zalalam. Feel at home. Today I want to talk to you guys about a reality show. A reality show I have watched from episode one to the final episode and um, it's a long one and most of you will judge me after I tell you. It's a, it's a reality show called Love Island and um, I, I, I watched the whole thing. I don't know why I feel ashamed uh, like coming clean and saying that I am a reality show junkie like I watch reality shows and that's my guilty pleasure and I know it's not like the best thing to say that because it can get ratchety and most of them are not reality reality but it's just I don't know with oh, with my free time I usually watch reality shows and there it is I told you judge all you want see if I care um, I do care please don't judge me <laughs> but so this reality show why I wanted to come on and talk to you about a reality show of all things is because of uh, the specific uh, season the season two Love Island USA uh, for the first time ever um, two black people a couple a black couple won the the show and they got a hundred grand and um, it's America and Canada that voted them in basically so they won uh, the show and their name is Justin and Caleb so I I watched the whole thing I was rooting for them I was so heartbroken that I can't vote for them uh, but they won and I'm really really happy but some of you are thinking okay one you told us you love reality shows that's weird <laughs> and then two um, you're telling us who won why should we care okay let me tell you why you should care why you should care is I've watched most of the love islands the UK um, what was the other Australia I think that was the worst one I didn't like it so I've watched this uh, this franchise of uh, UK and US first season and then the second season so I'm telling you a black couple has never won and so I'm really happy about that but the other reason why I really wanted to come on here and talk about this is because um, it showed a glimpse of what how what a black woman goes through in this day and age so this just seen when it first started the show is about like this mm, it's a ratchety show this just let me tell you so they they get this young young adults they're like from their early 20s to maybe late 20s then they put them uh, in that um island it's not necessarily an island it used to be island but not because of quarantine they had them in vegas but they created it looked like an island and they're always walking in swimming suits and stuff so they put them all together in there and then the, you get to be chosen like the first people that are there like they'll put five women and then men will come in and choose who they want so Justine was left alone the black the beautiful black woman and she's not only a black woman she represents Africa too because she's a Congolese uh with no Senegalese sorry sorry Justine she's a Senegalese no she's not she's Congolese wait Congo yes she's from Congo I'm sure she's from Congo so she's from Congo but she never lived there they were refugees when the war broke out she has a beautiful story when the war broke out she had to her family had to rush and go out and then lived in Kenya in refugee camp for like four years and once she, when she was eight years old they went to the US and then she lived um, the rest of her life there the rest of her life there and um, she was raised there now she's 27 I believe so she lived there but she it sees herself like she wears African necklace she's all, always wearing the bracelet of Kenyan and she's representing and she I'll get to that like her personality is a real true black queen and I fell in love with her as soon as I met her in the first episode first season so she gets so back to my point she goes stands there and then all the men choose the white the white women and she's left there alone and I was like damn it like why like why aren't they choosing her she's not beautiful enough for them and then uh fast forward 
she like throughout the episodes she doesn't find somebody that loves her even her she didn't feel okay she liked a couple of people they but they chose somebody else and she was really devastated and i was really feeling like why why is this happening and i was really upset for her and i was rooting for her and then her story changed when this guy named Caleb comes in the villa. They call it the villa. <laughs> they, he comes in there and um, basically they fall in love. What you see in, on the rest of the shows is like on the rest of the episodes until the final is them falling in love and him choosing her and always putting her first. And they get this test of they take away the men and put them in another villa and tempt them with other women. And the other men fell and they were hooking up with other girls. But him, he was like, for me, that's her. That's my queen. And he came back for her. And it was just a beautiful So Like I was, I was waiting for it to come on every night. It's like every day. Uh, just trying to see their love um, like <laughs> story develop and they, it was just a beautiful thing and they won they finally won and the two like what I really wanted to talk about is one it showed me how people view black women in the first place the way she was left alone and everything but then again I saw how beautiful she is inside and out the way she is when she talks you can just feel it she's just a genuinely real person and you just fall in love with her as soon as you hear her talk and just she's so beautiful i'm telling you you guys so it's such a beautiful smile and not to not 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 to mention that she represents africa i, I said that before um so the way she carried herself what i wanted to one i was excited the reason why i'm coming to you here is i'm excited but i also have a message with it it's it's i saw how important it is to raise your kids the right way the proper way not to put down any of the guys that were in that reality show but her and this guy Caleb. i'm telling you the those black parents that raised them did so well her her parents really raised her well the way she talks the way she handles herself the way she's honest the way oh god she's just i'm gushing over her right she's good she's awesome and he's really caleb is really lucky but even him the way he treated her the way he respected her the way that's what black love should look like that's why I'm really happy here uh, before you. They want it. Uh, they want it for all of us. And um, it showed how beautiful our people are and how beautiful it is when we love each other and get each other's back. And they did exactly that on the show. And that is why uh, people fell in love with them and voted for them. And they won this prize as well as they found love. Uh, when they left the villa and I'm really happy for them that's why I came here and I feel like I have exposed myself um, that I really like reality shows but so be it maybe in the future I'll get over it but God knows I'd, I'd rather read a book <laughs> during that time um, that I'm wasting but I enjoy it and I watch it and this Love Island definitely was not a waste of time for me I enjoyed it from the beginning till the end it showed me a lot it taught me a lot it empowered me a lot and I was so proud that an African black dark-skinned woman winning this show what more can I say well done Justine you are beautiful inside and out I'm very happy for you I love you so much you did so well continue being a great woman and Caleb you did well respect your queen as you called her you keep calling her queen and I love that continue respecting her showing her love and do your best to not let her down and you guys are a power couple you show the kids out there what it's like to have a genuine connection and what black love is and I think you portrayed it well. I know it's just a reality show. I know it was just two months that uh, you did all these things. But hopefully, um, even moving forward, you, uh, you become an example for these kids out here who think, uh, you know, being a baby mama is enough. Or just cloud chasing, being like with a rapper and being treated like, you know, shit is worth it. You need to respect yourself. You need to respect your partner. You need to have a mutual loving relationship. It shouldn't be one-sided or you shouldn't be crying all the time. You shouldn't be chasing for money. It's about love and it's about real genuine connection and respect. So continue uh, with this because they are really young, you guys. They're like 27 and 23. 
or four, no, 27 and 24. So they're really young and their fan base is going to be young children. And that is what makes me happy because they're being a good example as opposed to all this nonsense, like this examples that we have in reality shows and on this um, rap game and this industry of what the media feeds us is now what's good for us or our kids. So that's why I loved it. Sorry guys if I bored you with this story, but for those of you who watched Love Island, please let me know what you felt like when they won down below. Um, what else? Yeah, and like this video. I always forget to say this. Like this video. Um, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.